Have you ever dreamed of transforming your financial situation but felt overwhelmed by the complexity of it all? What if I told you that in just seven days, you could set the foundation for lasting financial success? Welcome to 7-Day Wealth Transformation, a journey where we'll unravel the secrets of money management, one day at a time. Get ready to challenge your financial beliefs, learn practical skills, and start a transformation that will not only change your bank balance, but also how you think about money. Day 1. Understanding Your Current Financial Status Let's dive into Day 1, where we take a good look at your money situation. Get out those bank statements, credit card bills, and any papers about money you have. We're going to really understand how things are going with your money. The main goal is to make a clear and honest picture of how you're doing financially. First, we'll sort out your spending. The important stuff like rent and groceries, the extra things like eating out, and those sneaky subscriptions you might forget about. You'll learn how to keep track of every bit of money you spend to see where it all goes. Sometimes, we find that small, regular purchases can add up to more than we think. After that, we'll look at how much money you bring in. It's not just about the total. It's also about how steady it is and if there's a chance for it to grow. This is when we introduce the idea of net worth. That's what you own minus what you owe. Knowing your net worth is a super important first step in making wealth. By the end of day one, you'll have a full budget and a better idea of where you stand with your money. This is like the base we're going to use to start building your way to financial success. Day 2. Setting Realistic Financial Goals With a clear understanding of where you stand, Day 2 is about envisioning where you want to be. Setting financial goals isn't just about saying, I want to be rich. It's about defining what richness means to you and setting achievable targets to get there. We'll break down the process of setting smart financial goals. You'll learn how to set specific, measurable goals like saving a certain amount in a year, reducing debt by a percentage, or investing a set sum monthly. We'll discuss how to ensure these goals are achievable and relevant to your personal circumstances. But it's not just about setting these goals. It's also about finding the motivation and the means to achieve them. We'll explore techniques like visualization, affirmations, and setting up a reward system for when you hit your targets. By the end of the day, you'll have a clear set of goals and a plan to achieve them. Day 3. Learning Basic Financial Literacy Day 3 is all about getting to the heart of financial know-how, understanding the basics. It's surprising how many people handle their money without really knowing the ABCs of finance. But today, we're changing that. Let's kick things off with the basics. Income expenses, assets, and liabilities. These are like the building blocks of money matters. Knowing what they mean is super important for making smart decisions about your finances. We'll dig into how they connect with each other and impact how well off you are financially. Next up, we'll step into some fancier stuff like compound interest, the power of credit scores, and the basics of taxes. We'll show you how these things can either work in your favor or cause you trouble, depending on how you handle them. But here's the big deal for today. We're giving you a simple guide to read and understand financial statements and documents. This skill is gold when it comes to making wise choices about investments, loans, and other money commitments. By the end of today, you'll have a strong foundation in money smarts. That means you'll be all set to make clever, confident choices with your finances. So get ready to level up your financial game. Day 4. Cutting Unnecessary Expenses Day 4 is about taking control by cutting unnecessary expenses. It's time to become a financial detective in your own life, identifying and eliminating wasteful spending. We begin with a thorough review of your recurring expenses. This includes everything from monthly subscriptions to habitual spending patterns like daily coffee runs or impulse buys. We'll employ practical tactics like the 30-day rule for impulse buying where you wait 30 days before making a non-essential purchase to determine if it's truly necessary. Next, we'll explore ways to reduce your fixed expenses. Can you negotiate a better rate on your utilities or insurance? Are there more cost-effective alternatives for services you use regularly? This segment will be packed with tips and tricks for savvy spending and smart saving. By the end of day four, you'll have identified potential savings and learned how to redirect these funds towards your financial goals. It's about making your money work smarter, not harder. Day 5. 
Exploring Additional Income Streams On Day 5, we're diving into ways to grow your money by exploring different ways to earn. Nowadays, just having a regular job from 9 to 5 might not be enough to have the financial freedom you want. Let's talk about passive income. It's like money that comes in without you having to work too much for it. This could be from renting out something you own, like a house, getting money from investments you made, or even making some extra cash from a small business you run on the side. We'll look at different options and how you can start doing this, even if you don't have a lot of money to begin with. Then we'll check out active income. This is money you earn by actively doing something, like freelancing, giving advice as a consultant, or making money from a hobby you enjoy. I'll tell you stories about people who have made extra money this way and give you tips on how you can do it too. By the end of day five, you'll have a list of ideas for making more money based on what you're good at and what you like to do. And we'll come up with a plan to get started. Remember, having different ways to make money is an important step to make sure your finances are strong and growing. Day six, smart investing for beginners. Day six is all about making investing less confusing and more like something you can actually do. We're going to talk about turning your savings into something that helps you build wealth over time. No need for fancy words. We'll break down different types of investments like stocks, which are a piece of a company, bonds, mutual funds, a mix of different investments, real estate, buying property, and even newer things like cryptocurrency, digital money. You'll find out about the risks and rewards of each type of investment and figure out how to make a mix that fits your comfort with risk and your money goals. We'll also look at retirement accounts like 401k and IRAs and how they can give your money a boost for the future. I'll help you with the first steps of investing, like picking a place to do it called a brokerage, understanding any fees, and doing some basic research about the markets. We'll also chat about the mind part of investing, how to avoid common mistakes and not let feelings get in the way. By the end of day six, you'll have the know-how and the confidence to make your very first investment. It's like setting the stage for your money to grow over a long time. Day seven, building and maintaining a wealth mindset. On day seven, we focus on perhaps the most important aspect of wealth creation, your mindset. Building and maintaining a wealth mindset is about more than just financial strategies, it's about cultivating a positive attitude towards money and success. We'll start by exploring common limiting beliefs about money and how to overcome them. You'll learn techniques like affirmations, visualization, and gratitude practices that can help shift your mindset towards abundance and success. Next, we'll talk about the importance of setting and revisiting your financial goals regularly. I'll provide tips on staying motivated and adapting your plans as your life and the financial landscape change. We'll also discuss the power of networking and mentorship in wealth building. Surrounding yourself with successful, like-minded individuals can provide inspiration, guidance, and opportunities. By the end of day seven, you'll have a solid foundation for a wealth mindset, equipped with tools and strategies to maintain it. This mindset, combined with the practical skills you've learned over the week, will propel you towards your financial goals. As our seven-day wealth transformation comes to a close, remember that this journey doesn't end here. You've now got the tools, knowledge, and mindset to take control of your finances and steer them towards success. Keep learning, stay motivated, and remember, your financial future is in your hands. Subscribe to our channel for more insights and support as you continue on your path to financial freedom. Here's to your wealth transformation.